Good day guys, so we are now going to release our latest ECU, the PNP Duino Honda D17 which is uh, compatible with the 2001 to 2005 Honda Civic D17 only for manual. So this ECU is 100% uh, plug and play, you don't need to replace the cam gears or uh, buy the RSX ECU and then modify it. And you don't need to spend $1,400 for that. This will be available for only $490. Let's go. This is the PNP Duino connected to the harness. You just need to put one wire for the AC switch because the OEM ECU uses the AC switch via the K-line. So you need to have a physical wiring. Also the battery indicator and the coolant gauge does not work because the original ECU uses K-Line to send the signal to dashboard. But since we, we have this standalone ECU and with a Bluetooth, if you have an Android phone or tablet, you can see the battery voltage and your coolant temperature okay we'll start the engine so as you can see from this uh, tuner studio the thing about this ECU is that uh, the original has an alternator control if you don't have this alternator control this battery voltage will go until 19 volts so I modified the firmware so that you can see the duty cycle is changing depending on the battery voltage and as I mentioned earlier, the AC switch needs to be wired physically. And this is the AC switch. And if I turn on the AC, you can see AC compressor is on, and then also the radiator fan is on. And then battery voltage also will uh, be controlled when the fan and the AC compressor turns on and for some reason while I'm testing the car if I turn on the lights uh, the AC switch fluctuates which is maybe because of the signal coming from the K line so instead of using the normal air conditioning control, I use the programmable outputs instead. And use some programmable outputs to control the AC. So now everything works. AC, alternator control, either just need some tuning okay uh, this will be available uh, on the website in a few hours and the price will be only $490 so I hope the 7th gen uh, Civic owners are going to start modifying this car and uh, they don't need to spend 1400 for the ECU. I think the only limitation for this generation is the ECU. Thank you very much.